Yeah, that would help. All right, let's find the end behavior of this function. The way to do this is thinking of limits. So I'm going to divide everything by the degree, the biggest degree in the denominator. I'm going to divide everything on the top by x squared and everything on the bottom by x squared. And I will have, when I do that, I'll have 3 over x plus 2 over x squared, this is the numerator, minus 4x all over 2 minus 3 over x minus 1 over x squared. And the reason we do that is because we can very easily see what happens. We're thinking of end behavior. So let's imagine when x goes to positive infinity, all of these things are going to go to 0. Anything that has an x in the denominator is going to go to 0. And so I'm just going to have, this is going to simplify into negative 4x over 2, which just equals negative 2x. So when x goes to positive infinity, I'm going to have negative 2 times a very large positive number which goes to negative infinity or they're asking for the end behavior it goes down as x goes to the right down to the right the graph goes down and then to the left let's change colors here to the left as x goes to negative mm -hmm. infinity well if I plug in a negative number here a negative times a negative is going to be a positive so to the left, it's going to go up. To the left, it's going to go up. And there's your end behavior. That's how you do that.